What's up guys, um, Diablo 3 US beta patch number 13 just came out, I think it's today, I just realized today. So I'm just going to explain to you what they changed, added, and modified. So let's get started. All characters have been wiped. Please note that this wipe will also affect gold, achievements, items, followers, and artisans. Intelligence now grants 0.1 per point to resistance and will no longer award any bonus to healing up globes. When dual wielding, certain skills will, no, will now always use your main hand weapon to determine damage. For example, Cyclone Strike will use your main hand weapon damage even if your off hand weapon is set to swing next. And options to permanently enable advanced tool, tool tips have been added to the gameplay options. The Gold Auction House is once again available for testing. The listing fee for all auctions has been removed. The transaction fee for auctions and the currency based auction house has been increased to 1.25 battle bucks. The minimum listing price for an item in the currency based auction house has been increased to 1.5 battle bucks. Players may now only have 10 active auctions per auction house. Tool tips have been added which will allow players to compare items on the auction house to the items they're currently wearing. Public chat is now available to test. Cross game support has been added. You can now chat with real ID friends while playing the World of Warcraft PTR or Starcraft 2 PTR, as well as view their in-game status. The levels at which both active and passive skills unlock have been adjusted for all classes. Skill runes are now available for testing. The first skill rune will unlock for all characters at level 6, and players can unlock additional runes as they level up. In total, Players will be able to gain access to 5 skill runes for each skill by level 60. Character skills has been broken down into categories, and each category has been ex assigned to a specific mouse button or action bar slot in the skill UI. The following categories will be shared by all classes. The primary attack, which applies to skills that typically generates resources and can be used frequently. By default, Primary attack is assigned to the first mouse button. The secondary attack, which applies to more powerful skills that are commonly limited by a cooldown or resource cost. By default, the secondary attack is assigned to a second mouse button. The defensive category, which applies to skills which can be used to escape or control the, floor, the flow of combat. By default, defensive is assigned to the first action bar quick slot. Each class will also, been, has, will also have three additional categories which are unique. By default, these categories will be assigned to the second, third, and fourth quick slots in the, mana, in the main action bar. Elective mode. For players who wish to explore character builds which cannot be accomplished with the provided categories, an elective mode has been provided. When activated, elective mode will allow you to place any skill in any skill category slot as freely as you could before. To enable elective mode, simply check the cross corresponding box located in the gameplay option menu. The cooldown on swapping skill has been decreased from 30 seconds to 15 seconds. Bash has been increased from 145 to 150% damage. Cleave has been increased from 115 to 120 weapon damage. Frenzy, Frenzy has been increased from 100 to 110%. Ground stop has no longer weapon damage. Stun duration increased from 3 seconds to 4 seconds. Hammer of the Ancients increased from 180 to 200 weapon damage. Leap attack has been increased from 100 to 125% weapon damage. Threatening shout, shout damage reduction decreased from 50 to 25%. Swords and daggers has been increased from 10 to 15 percent. Maces and axes has been increased from 5 percent to 10 percent chance to critical. Pole arms and spears hasn't changed. Mighty weapons. Fury generated per hit increased from 1 to 3. Bola shot. Weapon damage to main target increased from 100 to 130 percent. Weapon damage to other targets in range increased from 75 to 110%. Caltrops. 
Movement speed reduction decreased from 65% to 60%. To cram. Weapon damage increased from 135 to 150%. Entangling shot. Hatred generation decreased from 4 to 3. Evasive fire. Weapon damage increased from 115 to 125%. Pathing has been improved when performing a backflip. Hungering arrow has been increased from 85 to 115 weapon damage. Impel has been decreased from 275 to 250% damage. Vault. Pathing has been improved. Steady aim. Damage bonus when no enemies are within 10 yards increased from 10 to 20%. Vengeance. Maximum hatred bonus decreased from 50 to 25. When healed by a health globe, hatred gain increased from 10 to 20 and discipline gain increased from 1 to 2. Breath of Heaven. Spear cost reduced from 50 to 25. Heal amount increased. Now has a 15 second cooldown. Dashing strike has been decreased from 160% to 80%. Pathing has been improved. Exploding Palm. Weapon damage from bleed effect decreased from 65 to 60%. Lashing Tail Kick. Weapon damage decreased from 225 to 200%. Mentra Evasion. Chance to dodge bonus increase decreased from 25% to 15%. Secondary bonus to dodge attacks in effect for the first 3 seconds after activations. Also decreased from 25% to 15%. Guardian's Path. When dual wielding, chance to dodge bonus increased from 10 to 15%. While using a two-handed weapon, spear regeneration bonus increased from 20 to 25%. Resolve. Any damage enemy damage reduction decreased from 30 to 25%. The Witch Doctor's mana has been has received a tuning pass. Court Spiders. Weapon damage per swing decreased from 38 to 25 per spider. Fire Bomb. Has been decreased from 155 to 100% weapon damage. Grass of the Dead. Movement speed reduction increased from 50 to 60%. Haunt. Dur duration of Haunt no longer scales per level. Now deals 350% weapon damage over 15 seconds. Hex. Damage bonus to Hex enemy decreased from 20, 20 to 12%. Plague of, of Toads. Weapon damage decreased from 150 to 130 per toad. Summon Zombie Dogs. Weapon damage per hit decreased from 15 to 9% per dog. Spiritual Attunement. Mana regeneration decreased from 2 to 1% of maximum mana per second. The Wizard Arcan Power regeneration has been lowered from 12.5 per second to 10 per second. Arcane Orb. Weapon damage increased from 225 to 250% weapon damage. Diamond Skin. Maximum absorption amount decreased. Frost Nova. No longer deals weapon damage. Ray of Frost. Has been increased from 155 to 200% damage. Movement speed reduction decreased from 40 to 30%. Attack speed reduction decreased from 30 to 20. And duration of slow and attack speed reduction decreased from 5 to 3 seconds. Shock Pulse has been increased from 90 to 105 weapon damage. Wave of Force has been decreased. Movement speed reduction increased from 50 to 60. Evocation. Cooldown reduction decreased from 20 to 15 percent. Glass Cannon. Damage bonus reduced from 20 to 15 percent. The cost to level the Blacksmith has been reduced by 50 percent. The gold and regent cost of Blacksmithing recipes has been received a tooting pass. The following affixes now have a chance to appear twice when crafting an item. Minimum damage, maximum damage, and all elemental damage types. The Templar skills heal, heal amount increased. Loyalty, healing per second increased. Passive spirit regeneration granted by the spirit regeneration item affix has been increased. Quivers would now grant plus damage. New item affixes have been added. Chance on hit to Fear, Stun, Freeze, Immobilize, Chill, Blind, Slow, and Knockback. Vendors will now change their inventories more often throughout the game and will have access to wider varies of item affixes. 
the chance for a white item to appear in a vendor's stock has been reduced from 30 to 10 percent. The vendor's value of all items has been reduced. The health and damage of all monsters in the game have been adjusted. The amount of gold dropped by monsters has been increased. Achievements should now be awarded properly once their objectives are met. Accounts that were locked by error message such as error 395002 should now be unlocked. Players should now be able to buy gold using their beta bucks. There you have it guys, the beta patch number 13 for Diablo 3. So I'll see you next time. Bye.